This is a playback on the new chain code deployment model as implemented uh, in uh, Jira item fab 1783 and uh, series of grid items starting with 5555 and and uh, four of four four dependents uh, based on 5555. Um, Let's uh, do a very quick demo of the new deployment model. So here I have three screens. Um, there is a instance install instantiate.md file um, that talks in detail about the um, new deployment model and the, uh, and uh, has instructions for running uh, some uh, running certain instructions using the new deployment model. Uh, there is also in the docs folder uh, a, a compost file, docker compost file called docker2peer.yaml. These are the two documents that will be the basis for the demo. So let's open up in VI, install instantiate.md and keep it on the side. And the other window, I'm just going to quickly start docker compose. And this will start to uh, to appears an orderer and a CLI from which to drive the commands from. Let's go quickly to the third window and do a Docker PS and see there are these four containers up and running, two peers, a CLI, and the orderer. Now uh, let's go to the uh, command window, the uh, install instantiate. Uh, instructions window and then copy paste um, a docker exec CLI to get into the CLI so we can drive the rest of the commands. Um, I'm going to first create a channel as usual nothing new in that for the new deployment model and this will uh, run against the order and create a new file called myc.block in the same window where the um, where it was executed from now I'm going to have the two peers join, um, join the uh, block, join the channel, my C, and uh, peer zero has joined it, and then we'll also have peer one join the channel. And then now we will, here is where the difference between the old model and new model comes. There is a new command called install. Um, from the C, from the CLI and the equivalent from the uh, from the uh, SDK. Uh, so this command takes an additional parameter called uh, version. Note that this, unlike the old deploy command, this does not take the uh, take the uh, initialization arguments that the old deploy used to take. We will target uh, peer zero for the install command. Which will basically install the uh, chain code example 02 on peer 0. Um, now let's go and uh, here is a second difference. Now that you have installed the chain code on peer 0, it is available only on the peer itself. It is not available on the ch channel or uh, any of the ledgers. Um, it's, it's a chain code that's been deployed, that's been installed on the peer. Let's go ahead and uh, in order to get it onto the channel, we got to do this instantiate. It basically uh, instantiates, it uh, runs the chain code, um, puts it on the ledger of my C, and then calls the init method to instantiate it on my C. So let's do that real quick. So once again, we will we will uh, we will use the minus uh, the the version command uh, as part of the in addition to the usual name path, we also have a version command, and this is the usual init args that was passed to the uh, old deploy model. Now it's now passed to the instantiate along on this channel mycy. So the instantiate has completed. Now let's go and uh, do the query. No, no change here from the old model on peer zero. Copy paste that, 
and you will see it succeeds with query this 100. So far so good. What about peer? Um, let's also send an invoke meanwhile to the peer 0 where the chain code is installed. And uh, what about peer? What about peer 1? Um, let's try to run the same query on peer 1 and see what happens. So we get an error basically says that the um, uh, that basically says that uh, we are not able to run the query on peer one. The reason being, even though the ch the, the chain code was instantiated on the on the on the chain channel myc, and the chain code state is available on both peer zero and peer one, only peer zero has the install installed chain code code to run the chain code. Um, so in order to in order for peer one to be able to run the chain code, we need to install um, we need to install the um, chain code on peer one this time. Let's do that. Oops. Now we are running the chain. Uh, we install the chain code on peer one. There's a, there's, a, it's a, there's an interesting discussion uh, uh, description here which goes into the details which might be useful as uh, for you later on. Now that we have installed it on uh, peer one, let's go ahead and run the run the uh, query and see if it succeeds now. It should because it now has both the state from the previous uh, initialization and the in invo invoke on the P0 and now it has got the installed code also. So as you see without making any changes to the peer other than installing it, uh, installing the chain code, we now have peer 1 also executing um, the chain code. Thank you.